Okay, I admit it. I hate putting sunscreen on. You're probably wondering why I'm even talking about sunscreen, since it is minus 40 degrees Celsius out right now. Well, first of all, spring and summer will be sneaking up on us one of these days, whether we believe it or not. And second, a sunburn has nothing to do with how sunny it is out. It has to do with the UV rays that are being emitted from the sun and how strong they are that day. And that can explain why a skier or snowboarder will be on the hill for what seems to be a cloudy and cold day, and then comes off the hill and notices that they have a sunburn. Really, that just means that the UV rays are really strong that day and were reflecting off the snow onto their face. We need to protect ourselves from UV rays, even when we're not in shorts and sandals, and even when it doesn't seem like the sun's shining down on us. It seems so weird to be putting sunscreen on my face when it's so cold out. Plus, sunscreen always leaves my face looking shiny and feeling greasy. So when I'm looking for makeup, I tend to be drawn towards products that contain an SPF. That way I can just continue my daily makeup routine without having to change anything or add anything new. I start off with Jane Iredell's Liquid Mineral Foundation. I was initially drawn to this product simply because of how cool it looks. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's made up of tiny little colored balls, which burst open as soon as you start to pump the foundation out. It gives you a really lightweight and comfortable coverage while minimizing your pores, fine lines, and evening out your skin tone. And it usually just takes two to three pumps to cover your entire face. So that's what it looks like after it comes out. So it just looks like normal foundation. It just has way cooler um, packaging than most foundation. I need it obvious that I want you then I applied Jane's Pure Pressed Base Mineral Foundation. It contains UVA and UVB SPF 20 broad spectrum sun protection. Okay, that was quite a mouthful to say. And it's completely natural. It contains no oils, talc, dyes, or paraffins. It can be applied either wet or dry. I personally like the look of it dry better, so that's how I'm gonna apply it. Um, I'm using Golden Glow, and you're just gonna brush it all over your face. So put it on me. Let's remove the squeeze between me and you Now rock your body oh. If you want a bit more protection, there's the Jane Aridel Powder Me SPF 30 Dry Sunscreen. You can use it on your face as well, but since it has an easy applicator, like that, um, it's also ideal to use on your body. So it's great for women, men, children, and it's just really easy to apply if you don't want the greasy stickiness of sunscreen and you just rub it all over your body. Um, I'm using the bronzed colored one just because I like a little bit of extra glow on my skin whenever I can. Um, but if you don't, then there's also the translucent one that you can use too. Here's the translucent one. It's basically exactly the same, only it has no color added to it at all. It's just a translucent powder, which means that it's just going to blend in with your natural skin tone and it's not gonna look like you have any makeup on at all. So this is perfect for guys if you don't want any like bronzy shimmery glow and you just wanna be covered up and protect your skin. And then the last step, I'm going to apply bronzer. So this is Jane Aridel So Bronze number three. And the thing with bronzer is you only wanna apply it to the places where the sun would naturally hit your skin. So you're gonna apply it to your cheeks and to your nose, your forehead, and your chin. Because you don't want to overdo it, you just want that light, sun-kissed glow, like you've just been out in the sun. And now for the last step. I grab my handy dandy D2O hydration spray and I spray it all over my face. It sets your makeup, regulates the pH of your skin, and leaves you feeling refreshed and your skin feeling moisturized. And there you go, a flawless makeup application, all while protecting your skin. And as nice as a tan may look right now, in 30 years, when you have irreversible skin damage, you're gonna be wishing that you spent those couple extra minutes making sure that your foundation had SPF in it.